Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I am doing some work on the contract uh, for the individuals who have child support issues. And what we're doing is we're putting together the contract in such a way, it will be about 10 to 11 pages, in such a way that it brings forth certain points that, let's just say, nobody wants you to bring up. For instance, the birth certificate operates as a contract. Now, most people, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does, you ignorant morons. Sorry, there are a lot of ignorant morons on this planet. <laughs> and there are so many. And because there are a lot of ignorant morons on this planet, they don't get it. They don't understand it. They cannot grab hold of this fact right here. Give me one second. Whereas, comma, a birth certificate, stop listening, ladies and gentlemen, a birth certificate can be seen as legal evidence, and we're going to put legal here, because it's legal means statutory, evidence of a contractual relationship between the individuals named on a certificate, i.e. the mother, and the government agency that issued it. This is because by accepting and using the certificate, a person is deemed to have entered into a contract with government agreeing to abide by its laws and regulations. That's why it can be utilized as a secondary ID for identification purposes of so-called citizenship. Now y'all hold on, got more work to do, so I'ma pause y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is what I put in there. I've been going through the system for about, I don't know when it, uh, we started this, but it has to be at least 15 to 20 minutes. And what I did is I asked the system, because I know that the sperm belongs to the father, it is property, and they have said that your body, your person is property. We do have the case in, I think it was 2012, where a lady needed an operation and she had a specialized cancer and there was a treatment and she went to a hospital, a foreign hospital in a European country to get that treatment and the company that made the pay attention quote unquote product barred the hospital from giving that woman treatment because they claimed they owned her DNA. Ladies and gentlemen, how is it possible for somebody else to own your DNA? Which is why we have contracts like the one I'm producing. So that you can amend those agreements. You must understand that's what the contracts on SAALimited.com is all about. Even in this agreement, we're putting in a coupon. You owe child support? You're going to use a coupon. Then you'll use that to get your tax credits back because you'll be able to provide proof that you wrote a bill of exchange, which is covered under the March 9, 1933 Act and recognized as currency in the United States. Anybody who has ever written a money order, ever written a bill of exchange, you can now use IRS Tax Topic 453 to offset that, get your credits. Sorry about that. I just wish everybody would have understood. Hey guys, this is only a four minute video, so we're gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna go finish this document. You see, I've been working on it for quite some time. So when you think that working on these documents is easy. <laughs> you out of your muck. I mean, you're out of your mind. Goodbye.